Hello everyone! I'm very excited to be VTubing. I'm gonna do my Fortnite dailies. So, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Feel free to do your dailies along with me. I'm gonna try and stream every day, streaming my dailies. Um, my daily quests for today are to travel distance as a chrome blob, to collect rockets or heavy rounds, and to restore health. And if I complete some of those, we'll, we'll get some more to replace them. Uh, but all of these seem like pretty simple ones to start with, so I'm gonna just play zero build, uh, and we're gonna see how far we get. My goal over the next couple of weeks is to hit uh, level 100, um, because I really want to get some of the uh, Battle Pass bonus rewards. Uh, because there are some really cool color schemes. I love the Bubblegum Punk Lennox Rose. I'm very excited about Pastel Strider. Uh, and obviously, Spider Gwen is amazing. So. Alright, here we go. I got a Victory Royale yesterday. So, here's hoping. I love this Adira skin from last season. Um, I'm very excited uh, that I got to find it in trans colors. Let's see where the bus is headed. Let's go to Greasy Grove. I usually head to Greasy Grove or Sleepy Sound. Uh, I find that they're just very approachable places to drop. Um, some of the people who drop there are bots, uh, but it's a good way to warm up for the day. Uh, and I have my outfit, I have my locker on shuffle, so it'll shuffle through all my different outfits. I usually head for the taco shop right here. Because a sign means that you can land really early. Hopefully get access to stuff before I leave. Oh no, I made a mistake. <laughs> Have a go. There we go. Already got a couple eliminations on the board. I do wish I had a longer range weapon. Pistol's okay. It's not terrible, but... There we go. A better shotgun, at least. There we go. There's a burst rifle. The nice thing about, um, PC Grove is that you get these, um, Person sliding all around. There. Oh, even better shotgun. Swap out my pistol for the SMG. You get these mushrooms everywhere. Just a nice opportunity to heal up really early. So even if you get damaged in some of the uh, early game fighting, you can heal up super, super quick. There's also slurp barrels, uh, which are very helpful for that. It's a great way to get shields early. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a bounty. Since that will tell me where someone is, and it'll uh, help advance some of the milestone quests. Some free XP here, coconuts. 
heal up your shields as well, so they're always a good choice. Alright, so there's definitely someone still in the area, according to my bounty. Let's see if we can't find them. Oh, there's some fighting up that hill. There's someone. Perfect. Good, they're engaging, not running away. Perfect. And that was my bounty, so... Better SMG, way better shotgun. They had a very good shotgun. I'm glad I didn't close in. Alright, now I'm gonna finish gearing up. I'll hopefully find a second key so I can open one of those nice big vaults. Oh, something new. Jokes on me. I just got a very good shotgun. pretty full up on on bars. Uh, I don't think they cleared them between last season and this season, but um, I've been trying to take bounties just as a way to spend those bars. Definitely take this new Cobra DMR was just introduced maybe last week. Um, and it is way better in my opinion than the previous DMR. Oh. There's someone using one now. Not looking so good. I get some distance and heal up. So if they come close, I can use my shotgun or my SMG. whiffing today. Well, I got a good bit of the restore health task uh, passed through and picking up uh, heavy rounds. Oh, it's rockets or heavy rounds. I was picking up shotgun rounds. That's my bad. Well, you win some and you lose some. And I made it to top 50, which is usually a pretty good baseline for um, matches where I'm dropping in a, in a high density area. I'm pretty good at getting to top 15 or top 10. Uh, top 50 is is definitely the low end of my baseline, but I appreciate that I didn't get knocked out um, earlier. I was really whiffing with that tree in the way I was really just whiffing those um, shotgun shots. So I have to I have to get better at making sure that I'm not guessing where the opponent is just to shoot, especially with that prime shotgun, which only has the four, uh, four ammo. But I get to play as Lennox Rose, one of my new favorite characters this season. Let's see. Um, let's do Sleepy Sound, another sort of, uh, match to, to ease me into the day. And then maybe we'll start going for some more aggressive, aggressive drops. So these are the heavy rounds, which look so much like the medium rounds, unfortunately. Just gonna make sure that I have my copyrighted audio turned off. Yes, okay. Turned it off the other day, but whenever I hear music in this game, I'm never sure. I love Lennox Rose. Look at her pretty little pink puff trails. She's got a little bunny with golden revolvers on her back. And the Magnet Repulsor board is just cool. Ooh, a shield potion. That'll be really helpful.
There's some heavy rounds. Got a dolphin. Oh, more Chug Splash. Chug Splash is great because it can heal you up right away. You don't have to wait to drink it. Am I using a repair coach? It sure are. That was a bad play. Well, let's go for some more aggressive plays, because I think I'm I'm trying to play it safe, especially for the especially for this for the stream. I'm uh <laughs> I'm just a little nervous because it's one of my first VTuber streams in a while. Um and one of my first ever, so but I'm excited. I, I'm determined. I think I can do a bit better in these next few matches. This was actually, it was one of the big things when I started playing Fortnite. Uh, it's just because I played other battle royales, like um, Baron Runes Battlegrounds, uh, Daisy, that kind of stuff, where um, I'm so used to uh, sort of like turtling, which is not fun to play, it's not fun to watch, um, and it's it's much more interesting and much more fun to be aggressive, and Fortnite really, I think, encourages you to play aggressively, and I, I'm i having those little, those little anxieties again, so I gotta get better at just throwing myself into it. I get to play as the little kitty. I love this little kitty. Perfect. Let's go to logjam. I I am I have some anxieties about logjam. I don't know why. I think just whenever I drop there, I tend to get overwhelmed. But I'm gonna throw myself in, uh, and I think it's gonna it's gonna be better for it. Okay. Here we go. The other thing about Logjam is that my um, reality tree sapling is there. So hopefully that'll that'll be able to give me a little bit of loot. Didn't check to see how the fruits are doing, but usually, I don't come here very often, so usually they're doing pretty well. <laughs> Starting it off strong with some fall damage. Okay, good. I have a gun now. The hammer is not my favorite gun, but the rarity will likely control some of the spread. There we go. One elimination on the board. Two eliminations on the board. Goodness, do not have a lot of ammo. That's four. And a shotgun. That'll be really helpful. Oh, beautiful, beautiful ammunition. And pick up a bounty. Slurp down this shield potion and I'll take the shield pick for later. Get 
that's gonna make good progress towards restoring health. First key today. Let's swap out. Oh, swap out my old assault rifle for bandages. Second key. That's really good. Now I can open a vault if I find one. I thought my reality sapling was here, but I guess I must have moved it. Let's see. Anything worthwhile here? It might be worthwhile to upgrade to a shotgun, or uh, to a epic lever action. I think I'm gonna look around a bit first. So I'm quite low well on ammunition. Grab some grenades. Okay, here's somebody else's. So if I need it. Fruits should grow, and these are rare, so not the rarest they could be. Or epic. Better. We can get up to legendary and mythic. See, so I didn't even have to spend that. I still got an epic lever action. So I'm glad that I saved my, uh, saved my key. Okay, I think I'm gonna check this one. Uh into this ammo crate in case there's heavy ammo in here. Um, I'm gonna do this tree as well and then I think I should start heading towards the circle. Where is the circle? Oh, it's a ways away. But hey, it looks like there's a river that connects so if I can find a, uh, a speedboat I can get down there pretty quickly. Not much, but it's something. And it's going to work me towards the milestone for uh, gathering fruits as well, so... Oh, there's a legendary here. An SMG. I'm not the best with SMGs for basically every other gun, but... There we go. At least a little bit more ammo. This way I can head right down the river. It'll get me into the circle really quickly. Looks like my bounty is in Grim Gables. Grim Gables is it's like a farm. Uh, they've Halloweenified it for this season. Uh, now that Fort Nightmares is coming up. Oh, I saw someone up there. But Grim Gables has a lot of, uh, like, wheat fields or corn fields. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Oh, man. I had to get that. <laughs> Remembering my expression keys. There we go. I got one of the milestone stages for, um, picking, uh, fruit from the Alpy seedlings. But I did pretty well for landing at Logjam. I, I feel like the uh, playing more aggressive definitely helped. I got four eliminations on the board right away. It's definitely helping me warm up a bit, a bit faster. Uh, but Grim Gables with the, the uh, like crops there, it's so hard to see people. It's a very great defensive location. So... I figured I'd just skip it, because my bounty would have to come to the circle anyway.
see where the bus is taking us this time. Uh, log jam is on the table again. Uh, Grim Gables, I really, I really don't want to drop there. It's so hard to see people. Um, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna head for the rave cave. They've taken a lot of stuff out of the rave cave this time, uh, this season. There used to be, uh, ballers that you could drive around in, but, uh, they've removed a lot of those, so I'm going to try and drop in the head. So there's usually two or three chests there, and that'll kit me out, and I can, uh, then hop in one of the mini cars that are around the rave cave. I love this dragon. It's like the coolest animation surfing on this dragon. The music here is sometimes good. Uh, this I don't mind. Sometimes it is truly horrible. Uh, the other day I dropped here and there was just some appalling country music blasting. Country music. It was about the Butter Barn, which is another location, which is not even called the Butter Barn anymore. Uh, I believe now it's called the Flutter Barn. My old rifle for that. Then... Oh, that's right, they moved the airships. It's not here anymore. There we go, it's another chest. Now, I'm sort of kitted out. I'm gonna head over here, and by each one of these uh, little things, there's a car. These little outposts. And they all have off-road tires, so they're very, very good starting cars. Another chest here, even. An SMG? I don't have one. I'm gonna swap it out for these. Um, chocolate grenades. Uh, some people are very good at using those to uh, repel themselves out of situations, I find I most often just end up flinging myself into the enemy. I don't have any keys yet, but if I got one I could get a legendary AR, which would be very nice. I'll build up on uh, med kits. that's really good. Absolutely, take a shotgun. Oh, someone's targeting me. Well, the nice thing about being targeted is I can at least tell how close they are to me. Vaguely. The one thing about having copyrighted music turned off is that there's only one station that isn't copyrighted music. So you just better hope that they're playing something decent. Let's see. A shield potion. Put me up to 50 and then I can break these uh, slurp barrels. Well, that was a disaster. I did not see those gas cans there. I'm gonna go get those shield potions. So those two will bring up to 50. And then I'm at least back where I was before I broke the, uh, Swap with the lever action, it has more ammo in it than the Eva Chrome. Or it's about the same, but it has a tighter spread than the Eva Chrome. I'm 
gonna hop back in my car because this was a, a net neutral. It wasn't a net loss, at least, stopping me. There's Grim Gables there. Ooh, Grim Crossroads. Which used to be uh, Coney Crossroads before maybe a couple weeks ago this season. Perfect. I can chrome myself and then I'll be able to travel as a chrome block. Just one of my uh, daily quests. May as well pick up a bounty while we're here. There's definitely someone here. It's not the person hunting me. So I just saw the footsteps icon. Okay. Oh, that looks like they've just come down. It's the feeling. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, I was not prepared for them to drop down behind me. Top 30, though, I think that's the best I've done today. And I completed one of my daily quests, which was, was my goal. Uh, but yeah, Chrome Crossroads was Phony Crossroads before the other day. I, I really wish they called it Chrony Crossroads to keep the, uh, to keep the, the theme going. Turn my desktop audio down a bit because I think it's a bit too loud. I do have uh, this outfit that this person is wearing right here. Uh, it is quite cute. It's a big uh, slurp bear uh, that's being controlled by a little teddy bear inside of it, which I think is just adorable. There's um, a special emote with this outfit where the slurp bear takes the little teddy bear out of his stomach and he holds it up above his head uh, like a little baby or like a, uh, like in the Lion King. It's, it's pretty cute. Time to check what my new quest is, because I should have gotten a fresh one. Outlast Opponents. Okay. So this one is nice because it'll just happen as we play. Restore health I'm pretty close on. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there are any rockets in this mode, uh, so I'm just relying on heavy rounds, which are the, the sniper ammunition, um, which are, are tougher to come by. Uh, usually the way I come by them is I eliminate someone who has a sniper. <laughs> And they have somehow picked up thousands. Oh, this person's got a victory crown. They're going to be a tough customer in this next match. Or they might be like me, where as soon as I have a victory crown, uh, all my ability to think goes out the window. And I... <laughs> yeah, so these are the, the heavy rounds, uh, which look very similar to the, uh, the medium rounds. I think the the... They're just slightly bigger, the icon, but they look pretty similar to me. Alright, oh my, my goodness, I completely forgot to check where this is going. Um, let's go to Cloudy Condos. A lot of people like to drop the Cloudy Condos. Uh, this is another uh, thing that's changed in the new season, is Cloudy Condos and a lot of other places have uh, started floating to avoid the chrome that's been uh, invading the entirety of the island. Uh, just giving a lot more verticality to the entire map, uh, which is cool. Got a lot of these balloons that will, uh, if you jump in them, they'll, they'll throw you up in the air and you can start uh, gliding around. It's fun. Uh, so if you're being sort of pinned into an area, you can try and escape that way. 
just hope that your uh, opponent doesn't have a DMR. They might take you right out of the sky and you can't fight back at that point. DMR for me. Should be a couple chests in here. It might be up a floor. We'll take these shields for now, though. Flopper. Those are pretty good for restoring health, but... They're nothing special. I will take the ranger shotgun. This is another one they, they um, added for this season. Uh, it has a much increased range. It's only one shot, but that one shot can do a ton of damage. And I will take a blue one. Thank you very much. Okay. Not as many people drop here as I was expecting. So I am going to... Let's go to this wall. So it can just be a labyrinth in here. There we go. Better hammer and some chug splash. That'll be really helpful. So I am going to use the balloons to head towards the, uh, the center of the circle. That was a close one. Not see that gap there. That's the other thing is with... Uh, that was weird. With raising all the uh, bits in the map up, they've also introduced a lot more opportunities to take fall damage. Here's a, a vault. That's a 2 key vault. Uh, it's got a lot of good stuff inside it, but uh, everyone always goes for it, so it's usually pretty hot. Oh, someone down here. DMR always feels like it, it, you shouldn't shoot as quick as you need to. I do love the new book DMR though, it's so powerful. Uh, I think it benefited from them in increasing all the um, uh, sniping weapons power. Uh, they hadn't introduced this one yet, but they buffed up a lot of the long-range weapons, uh, which was really useful for things like the DMR. Okay, full up on ammo for all of those. Perfect. I'm not going to hit the gas can this time. got stuck under there. There's a fight I can take advantage of. Try and take out this person. They're using the bite skin, which is also new this season. There we go. Uh, there were a bunch of uh, bite quests uh, that I managed to do. Uh, I think I just finished those the other day. Oh. Yeah, this DMR is doing work. Uh, but I just finished the bite skins the other day. Unfortunately, they only give you things that you can use with uh, the bite skin active. There's a harvesting tool uh, that can morph into a bunch of different shapes. Um, but you only use it with bites, which is a shame because uh, bites is a cool character design. Uh, they're not really for me. Um, but I'm glad other people are, are enjoying the bite skin. Um, I mostly only play late <laughs> in these games, so uh, I am I am happy that people are enjoying bites, uh, but they are not they're not my favorite. 
Let's see. Um, I have the chest splash, so I don't think I'm gonna take that. Okay, I'm in the circle. I think I'm gonna head over here to these buildings and see if I can't find anybody else in here. It should be almost to the goal of uh, outlasting 75 opponents. There's 32 people left. Uh, I need it to go to 24 because it counts me as well. What is, that is a strange glitch. I've never had, had that happen before today. Um, here, I'll buy more Chug Splash and I'll just use this. There we go. It's a good use of my, my key. Let's be just for opening things. Oh, the ammo box is perfect. Let's see if we can get some heavy ammo. Nope. The shotgun medium and small. Surprised there isn't anyone over here. It hasn't been picked over at all. So it's not like I just missed them, just nobody's had the chance to loot this yet. There's another chest in here. Oh, a sniper. Mm. Yeah, I'll swap out the grenades for a sniper. Unfortunately, it doesn't count as um, collecting sniper ammo, even though it has bullets in it. Or heavy ammo, excuse me. Hmm. Where is everyone? Perfect. Did get a little bit of heavy ammo there. Okay, there's some fighting to the west. Let's see what that's about. Oh no, they missed me. That person must be doing one of the bites quests is to chrome opponents. Uh they must have been doing that. Oh yes. First level of the day. Um okay. I like all my loadout more than that. There's someone in the car. At one of their wheels and they have to fight me. Oh. Okay, but I did outlast opponents, which brings me up to all three daily quests. Perfect. Let me head back to the lobby and we'll see what I can get with my new battle stars. So I have eight total. Uh, let's see, I still need to get the Lunar Defender, uh, which I think is Paradigm's associated weapon. Uh, the Lunar Hyperjet, Back Bling, uh, Zimmy Paradigm outfit. I'm not big on Paradigm, she's just kind of generic Fortnite character. Uh, I think she's one of the main characters in the story that I don't follow. Um, here we go. This is, I want to get um, a striker here, who is the great canon trans character. So I guess I'll get this outfit for Paradigm, which is fun because it's pink. Um, but that way I can get uh, striker my next, or strider, uh, my next go. Uh, and then hopefully eventually I can get Spider-Gwen. I love her so much. She was one of my favorite parts of Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, and all her equipment looks so cool. 
drops the acrobatics. There's her spider shoot. Um, and look at this art. It's beautiful. Uh, so I am going to get Paradigm, who unfortunately I'm not going to use. Okay, and there's there's the helmet off version that comes with it as well. All right, that's my uh, dailies completed. Uh, thanks to everyone who tuned in. Uh, this was really fun. I'm going to try and do this every day. Uh, I'll try and keep a relatively consistent schedule. I think I started at about 1 o'clock today. Um, that's usually usually a pretty good time for me, so hopefully I'll do uh, 1 to 1.45 or 2-ish for the next couple days, and maybe I'll start incorporating more stuff into my dailies. Uh, it just worked out that I just hit the level at the same <laughs> at the same time as finishing my dailies. Um, but in the future, I'll probably uh, keep playing until I hit whatever the next level is, because that way... In the next couple of weeks, I can get to uh, get to level 100. Um, and let me take a look. The new weekly quests hit in just over three days, so uh, that'll be really really helpful. Uh, this uh, land at the driftwood quest is bugged for me. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that bug, but uh, I've done it a few times and it just doesn't seem to stick. Uh, so I've reported it, but um, I'm gonna wait for the week four quests to show up. I had a similar issue with the um, the vibe and story quests last season. One of them just didn't just didn't go. Okay, thanks everyone. It's been such a fun time. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm not stretched